When you think of tornadoes, you might imagine the massive twisters tearing through the central United States. And while tornadoes might be synonymous with the US's Tornado Alley, they've been spotted on every continent except Antarctica. But here's the twist in the Twister tale. With around 30 to 50 reported each year, the United Kingdom has one of the highest numbers of tornadoes per land area in the world, making it a surprise contender in the Tornado League. So hold on to your hats. In this video, we're going to spin up on UK tornadoes, from their surprising frequency to the most tornado prone spots. Get ready to be blown away by the whirlwind facts around these British twisters. Let's start off with that blustery bombshell of how many tornadoes sweep through the UK each year. Tornadoes can pop up anywhere in the four nations, but most reports are from England, which actually has one of the highest tornado rates of all the countries around the world. That's pretty remarkable when you consider how small England is, even if the tornadoes are typically small and short-lived. Researchers at the University of Manchester delved into tornado reports from 1980 to 2012 and found something pretty surprising. England, known more for its drizzle than its drama, averages around 2.2 tornadoes per year for every 10,000 square kilometres. That's actually a higher density than the US, which has about 1.3. And it makes England a Guinness World Record holder for tornado frequency. Sure, places in Tornado Alley like Oklahoma and Kansas have higher numbers, but on the whole, if you take a random spot in England, it's more likely to see a tornado than a random spot in the US. That's pretty surprising, right? Where are tornadoes most likely to occur? Did you know that the UK has its own version of Tornado Alley? Well, actually, it has three of them. This map put together by the University of Manchester shows the probability of a tornado occurring across the British Isles. You can see this is highest in central and southern England, stretching into parts of South Wales. One hotspot is an area south of a line between Reading and London, with a maximum near Guildford. Another stretches from north of Bristol through Birmingham up to Manchester, and then the last covers large parts of Essex and Suffolk. You can also notice how tornado reports tend to cluster in certain areas, in part because these are the more densely populated regions where there are more people to spot and report them. But when it comes to Scotland and Northern Ireland, even over the more populated areas, tornado sightings are pretty rare. When are tornadoes most likely to occur? Unlike the US, where tornadoes are generally a springtime spectacle, the UK experiences twisters all year round, making the British Isles tornado season less predictable than America's. Generally, summer and autumn, though, do see the highest numbers. In the US, the biggest tornadoes come from massive supercells, which are intense thunderstorms. In the UK, most tornadoes form on a smaller scale, but in a similar way, from isolated thunderstorms, which are most frequent during the summer months. The rest of the year, they're more likely to spin up along long, narrow storm lines that form along active cold fronts. This exact thing happened on the 23rd of January, 2025, when a tornado tore off roofs and uprooted trees near Newquay in Cornwall. It formed along an active cold front associated with Storm Eowyn, which brought intense winds and heavy rain to the UK. If you'd like to know how most tornadoes form, check out our Tornado Explainer. How strong are tornadoes in the UK? While tornadoes are relatively frequent in the UK, the majority of them have an estimated wind speed of up to 72 miles per hour. This places them in the two lowest categories of strength, classified as T0 or T1 on the International Tornado Intensity Scale, or T-Scale, also known as the Toro Scale. Toro is the Tornado and Storm Research Organization, and its founder, Dr. Terence Meaden, came up with the scale to categorize tornado intensity based on wind speeds back in 1972. It's purely a wind scale, whereas the more widely known Fujita scale primarily estimates wind speeds based on damage assessments. The T-scale ranges from T0 to T10, and has more graduations than the original Fujita scale, making it more appropriate for use in the UK, where we see tornadoes with lower wind speeds. Very occasionally though, stronger tornadoes do occur in the UK, so this feels like a good opportunity to dive into the whirlwind wonders of our top tornado statistics. Let's start off with the strongest tornado. 
the most intense tornado on record for the UK and England, occurred in Lincolnshire on the 23rd of October 1666, and it's estimated to have been a T8 or 9 tornado. It's obviously difficult to assign intensities to events that happened so long ago, so it is possible it was even stronger. It's even more tricky to assign an intensity to the earliest tornado known to hit the UK, as that occurred in central London way back in October 1091. This tornado is estimated to have been a T8 and is also the second strongest tornado to hit the UK. Even with such intensities, these are not known as the deadliest. In October 1913, a T7 tornado travelled an estimated 17 kilometres across South Wales, resulting in five fatalities, making it the deadliest tornado thought to have ever occurred in the UK. With all the damage that such strong and deadly tornadoes can cause, it was actually a more modern-day twister that was the costliest. In July 2005, a T5-T6 tornado with wind speeds of up to 145 miles per hour struck Birmingham. It lasted for only around 10 minutes, but caused £40 million in damages and injured 39 people along its 11-kilometre path. Whilst I'm talking about Twister stats, I must also mention the tornado outbreak that happened on the 23rd of November 1981. This occurred along an intense cold front moving southeastwards across England and Wales. In just over five hours, over a hundred tornadoes touched down across Wales and central northern and eastern England. This makes it the largest tornado outbreak to have ever been recorded in the UK and indeed Europe. With all these twisters touching down in the UK, you may find it a bit strange that the Met Office doesn't actually issue tornado warnings. Instead, we have warnings for wind, rain and thunderstorms. Why? Well, these hazards are more common, often affecting larger areas and pose a, a bigger risk overall. Tornadoes, by their very nature, are unpredictable, so it's virtually impossible to determine exactly where and when one will occur ahead of time, even in cases where the regional risk is deemed to be relatively high. Plus, when tornadoes do happen, they're usually accompanied by strong winds and heavy rain anyway. So there you have it. Thanks for watching our video on tornadoes in the UK. While they might be fairly rare, it's always good to stay informed and prepared. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update on all things weather related. And remember, we have other exciting explainer videos for you to watch as well. I'll see you soon.